Data refers to information collected as the result of experience, observation, or experiment. In public health, data can be anything from census information collected by the federal government to surveys collected by an individual in your organization. Data can be used to educate, inform, develop priorities, acquire resources, and evaluate programs. We can use health data to educate. For example, data collected showed increased rates of obesity. This data can be used to show public health agencies community needs, which could lead to targeted education programs on obesity. Data can also be used to develop priorities. Let's continue using the obesity example. By looking further into the data, we could see which areas of the community are affected most by obesity and plan our programs around these areas. Data can also be used to acquire resource. Having concrete evidence is very important in obtaining funding for programs. Data on obesity in the community can be used to secure funding and show that programs are needed to deal with the issue. Finally, data can be used to evaluate programs. After the programs are implemented, we can see if they are effective by comparing the data collected before the program was implemented to the data collected afterwards. This is also a good way to secure new funding by showing that your program is working. Now that we have an idea of how we can use data in public health, let's look at two sources of data. Now that we have an idea of how we can use data in public health, let's look at the two sources of data. Data can be broken down into two main sources, primary and secondary data. The chart below shows this relationship. Primary data is data collected by your project through direct interaction. For example, primary data is when a coworker designs a survey and your group administers the survey and collects the data. Any information that you collect from individuals is considered primary data. Secondary data is data collected by another group organization which is available for use. Census data is an example of secondary data, as is the Behavioral Risk Surveillance Systems, BRSS, and reports from other organizations. Data can also be characterized as either qualitative or quantitative. Quantitative data is measurable or can be counted, like how often people do certain behaviors or what diseases are impacting who and where. Quantitative data answers what, who, when, how many, and where health-related questions. Qualitative data is acquired through listening to people, observing situations, and recording perceptions to understand how people feel and why they feel that way. While the quantitative data can tell us what is impacting our communities, it can't tell us why. That's where qualitative data comes in.